We're here in Monte Carlo at World Entrepreneur of the Year, where we have 47 countries that covers 90% of the world's economy competing to be the World Entrepreneur of the Year for 2013. The whole idea of this programme has never been more relevant than today when we really need these inspirational stories to encourage people that actually going off and taking a risk, starting a business and having that real will to win and determination to succeed is something that we certainly need in Ireland in order to drive our recovery. When I started to enter the Entrepreneur of the Year uh, competition, I, I never envisaged uh, what it was going to be, first of all, uh, going on to win the category, going on to win the country. And to be able to come along and, and fly the flag for Ireland, fly the flag for Dairy Master here on the, on the world stage and talk about agriculture, uh, talk to people like Kofi and Anne about it, um, has, been, has been huge, you know. Networking on a global front, because so many entrepreneurs begin with a global mindset really helps propel and accelerate their business. So bringing them together actually helps them do business together and helps them be inspired by each other. You're invited here to judge the best entrepreneurs in the world. It's a very humbling experience actually to be asked to do it. Entrepreneurship is alive and well around the world, as it is in Ireland. Ed's story is quite fantastic. It's back to the basics of agri-food, but with a technology twist. So he's building a network and a peer group that is truly global, and that he can open doors for them and they can open doors for him. It's far from a holiday, you know? It's, uh, it's work, work, work. There's been uh, lots of media interviews, lots of TV. Then there's been uh, meeting other country winners, and that has been fantastic as well. And there's connections being set up that you would have never envisaged coming out here. The next trick is to, to come back home and, and put it all into action and onwards and upwards, as they say. It was a difficult choice, to say there was so much competition there. He's a phenomenal winner, he's a great company called Shinobi. He bought an old yogurt factory in upstate New York five years ago and he's converted into a phenomenal business, um, almost a billion dollar business in that much time. He left Turkey uh, when he was 23 with $3,000, he went to New York, um, he didn't speak English and this is where he is today. So it's a, it's a phenomenal story. Ireland can be really proud of, um, of Ed and Dairy Master and what he's achieved and what he's going to achieve. It was a huge privilege to be here. The last number of days I've been talking about agriculture, Ireland, our economy, um, and it's great to be able to do that and promote it and, and be, an, be an ambassador for Ireland.